I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good. Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything. Mm -hmm. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number. Wow! I feel violated right now. Harry, who apparently wanted to know what a Bieber butt felt like. Things on blast, that, you know. You want to say it again? You have beautiful lips. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> thank <laughs> you, bro. You have good lips. Thank wow. you. Just wear pants. Yeah, serious. Right. Want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to go through anything. From Diddy and Will Smith to Clive Davis. Justin Bieber sheds light on a troubling network of Hollywood power players who habitually groom young artists under the guise of mentorship. Bieber asserts that the industry harbors a disturbing culture where these powerful figures exploit and manipulate vulnerable talents. Expressing his own challenges as a young artist, Bieber reveals the difficulties of navigating an industry that often turns its back on individuals facing exploitation. He emphasizes the need to protect young artists from the pervasive abuse within Hollywood. Despite the industry's tendency to shield these perpetrators, Bieber stands apart, vowing to speak out against the pervasive issues of grooming and exploitation. His candid revelations shed light on the darker side of the entertainment world and raise questions about who exactly are the culprits behind the abuse and exploitation of children in Hollywood. He hinted at having witnessed Diddy's alleged assault on Cassie and even attempted to intervene to stop it. Bonds deleted the post before providing further details, leaving the public curious about the information he intended to disclose. While there remains a slim chance that Diddy is innocent of the accusations, the emergence of multiple lawsuits and the corroborating statements from individuals like Bonds cast a shadow over such claims. The lawsuits, including Cassie's and Jane Doe's, have brought serious allegations into the spotlight, indicating a pattern of concerning behavior. The unfolding controversy suggests that there may be more revelations to come, making it increasingly challenging to dismiss the accusations against Diddy as baseless. The public is left to ponder the credibility of these claims and the potential impact on Diddy's reputation and legal standing. As the controversy surrounding Diddy continues to unfold, there's a growing anticipation of more lawsuits that may accuse him of misconduct, including assault. Speculation suggests that these legal challenges may extend beyond women, possibly involving men as well. Diddy's alleged participation in all-male parties, described as an open secret in the industry, has prompted some men to come forward with unsettling accounts of the creepy and abusive atmosphere at these events. Rapper Fabulous shared his experience of attending one of Diddy's parties, emphasizing its highly sexualized nature. Uncomfortable with the environment, Fabulous reportedly had to create an excuse to leave the all-male gathering early. This narrative aligns with similar stories from other artists, such as rapper Zebit, who claimed Diddy once took him to a male gay club for a party. Comedian Fat Drew also contributed to the emerging tales about Diddy's parties, recounting a peculiar encounter at a Miami event. According to Fat Drew, he walked in on Diddy and Felix the house cat engaging in an intimate moment. These accounts, though anecdotal, add another layer of complexity to the public perception of Diddy and raise questions about the nature of his social gatherings. Jaguar Wright has resurfaced with new revelations, claiming that Diddy's mentor, Clive Davis, may have introduced him to the Illuminati through mysterious occult practices known only to Hollywood's elite. Despite numerous allegations and controversies surrounding Diddy's rise to becoming a billionaire music mogul, including accusations of abuse, trafficking, and murder, 
he has seemingly remained untouched. According to Wright, Clive Davis played a pivotal role in Diddy's success, shielding him from serious investigations and penalties. Wright alleges that Diddy's apparent immunity from legal repercussions is tied to his deep connections with influential figures, particularly his mentor, Clive Davis. She suggests that Diddy may have paid a steep price for his wealth and power, involving services to higher-ups and the exploitation of influential male celebrities. The lawsuit filed by Cassie against Diddy, accusing him of unspecified wrongdoing, adds fuel to Wright's claims. The suit raises questions about Diddy's alleged involvement in illicit activities, specifically regarding the trafficking of individuals within the entertainment industry. In essence, Jaguar Wright believes that Diddy's ties to the Illuminati, facilitated by Clive Davis, have shielded him from legal consequences and allowed him to operate with apparent impunity, even in the face of serious accusations. Wright goes further to assert that Diddy is involved in sex trafficking, utilizing the music and entertainment industry for his illicit activities. As these allegations continue to circulate, the public is left to ponder the extent of Diddy's connections and the potential dark underbelly of his success. Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy exposed disturbing allegations of physical abuse, sex trafficking, and a decade-long cycle of violence during their relationship. Remarkably, within 24 hours of Cassie filing the lawsuit, Diddy reportedly became the world's fastest settler as his lawyers aggressively pursued negotiations, culminating in an undisclosed settlement rumored to exceed $30 million. While settling may not inherently imply guilt, the substantial amount involved raises questions about the true nature of the allegations. The swift resolution, combined with the magnitude of the settlement, has sparked skepticism about Diddy's innocence in the public eye. This legal episode has also paved the way for two additional lawsuits accusing Diddy of various forms of abuse and molestation. One such lawsuit comes from Joy Dyerson Neal, a former video vixen for Diddy, who claims to have suffered substantial and lifelong injuries as a result of an alleged attack by Diddy in 1991. These legal actions collectively shine a spotlight on Diddy's personal life, revealing a series of troubling accusations that challenge his public image and raise concerns about the extent of misconduct within the entertainment mogul's past. Another disturbing lawsuit against Diddy has emerged, this time from Joy Dyerson Neal, a former video vixen, who alleges that Diddy drugged and assaulted her in 1991. Neal contends that Diddy invited her to dinner in New York, spiked her drink, and transported her to an apartment where she was assaulted while incapacitated due to the effects of the drug. Neil claims she lacked the physical and mental capacity to defend herself against Diddy during the incident. Shockingly, she asserts that Diddy filmed the assault, and she only discovered the footage later when it somehow reached her through male friends. Despite Diddy's legal team dismissing the lawsuit as a money grab without merit, Neil has insisted on a jury trial. Adding to the legal challenges, a second lawsuit has been filed by an anonymous woman identified as Jane Doe. In her lawsuit, Jane Doe alleges that both Diddy and musician Aaron Hall took turns assaulting her and her friend in 1991. These deeply disturbing accusations further contribute to the mounting legal issues surrounding Diddy, raising serious questions about his past behavior and prompting heightened scrutiny of the entertainment mogul's actions. In response to being implicated in Cassie's lawsuit, Roger Bonds, Diddy's former head of security, posted cryptic messages denying any intention of threats or snitching. Bond stated that he was sharing his truth solely for two reasons his daughters and his commitment to recounting events as he genuinely remembered them. As more individuals come forward, the industry braces itself for potentially more revelations that could further impact Diddy's reputation. During an off-air discussion, comedian Fat Drew disclosed a vivid account of his experience at a private party hosted by P. Diddy at his residence on Star Island in Miami. Accompanied by a renowned house producer, Fat Drew found himself in an intimate gathering, surrounded by beautiful models and high-profile executives. Despite feeling out of place, he embarked on a quest to locate the bathroom and inadvertently wandered into a labyrinthine section of the mansion. In an unexpected turn of events, Fat Drew stumbled upon a room where several men were reclining in a manner reminiscent of Romanesque and ancient Greek depictions, exuding an erotic atmosphere. The comedian quickly recognized the peculiar nature of the scene and made a hasty exit from the room. 
While this account is a single narrative among various stories emerging about Diddy's parties, it contributes to the growing mosaic of perceptions surrounding the entertainment mogul's private events. As more individuals share their experiences, the public remains intrigued by the unfolding revelations and their potential implications. That's a wrap. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to never miss any video.